This video is for educational purposes only and will comply to YouTube community guidelines. Why do people still rip DVDs from their drives? So that I can save them in a digital format. Today we're going to be downloading DVD Fab software. So we're going to show you how to do that here. So all you do is just go to DVD Fab. Let me just get that typed up here. My keyboard's acting a little funny here. Sorry about that. Let me just type it up again here. Uh, so we're going to go DVD Fab dot cn so you go there and then we're going to go into the main website here boom there it is so you go to dvd fab and then you can just go and learn more or you can just go here and just learn more about it those just are additional software so we just click on learn more here or you can just go straight to the download link and it'll take you to the download page and just make sure that you have windows or mac and then there's also an offline installer as well included so once you have the software downloaded, we're going to add our source. So this is your home suite where it has all this, but we're only going to be focusing on the Ripper today. So the Ripper allows you to convert DVD discs to digital formats like MP4, MKV, MP3, and FLAC. So what we're going to do is we are going to find our source, which is the ISO file, into your computer. So you're going to click on Add Source, and then find where the source is. And then you have to make sure that it's these formats, DVD image file, INI, ISO, IMG, and NRG. And then you just click open. And then once it opens the source, it's going to appear onto here. And then you can also drag and drop from folders as well. So once everything is sorted here, this is our file. And it shows like, a, shows like the title thumbnail. And then it also allows you to look at the type. It shows a description of the video here then it's a type it says movie zookeeper main feature and then you can see preview with menus and then you can save and then you can close that so it shows all your options here but what you can do is you can also select mp4 mobile so it'll pass through as an mp4 file so that way you can undo all the sources and everything else and just get it straight as a digital file. A lot of people want to do digital files still because it's just more convenient and probably they want to just watch a movie on the road when they travel or if they're somewhere like in a meeting or something or if they want to travel, this is the standard. What you can also do is set another type of format here. So you can choose the various codecs available such as AVI, FLV, MKV, and various others. You can also choose various definitions and then you can also choose various audio codecs such as AAC, AC3, and various others. And you can configure it to many other devices that you see here so that it maximizes the output of video picture quality and audio clarity. So these are your options that you can also do as well as setting it up for that. And then you can also choose your quality standard. So you can choose up to 256, 460, or 869. So that's high quality. So the high quality pass through will take a while. And then you can also choose your codecs here. So we're going to choose the English AC codec, and then English and normal captions. And then you can name it uh, Mobile Zoo keeper so you can name it that then the runtime still there there's the chapters 16 chapters in all and then there's the preview button there's the advanced settings which we'll go to and then there's the codec so you can choose whatever codec you want like mp mpeg 4 and then you can also set the resolution to let's say 1280 by 720 or 720 by 300 and then you can choose the fast encoding or high quality encoding you can set the quality to high quality the bit rate you just leave there the frame rate make it same as the source so that there's no losslessness or anything and then you can also put in deinterlacing so that it gets rid of lines and then you can also copy audio you can adjust the volume of it and then you can add subtitles if you want to and then you just click OK and then it saves your settings and then all you do is just press start and then it starts the whole process and then it saves it into a digital file and it'll just take a couple of minutes and then once that is done you can just put your file in your phone or your tablet and then you can watch a movie from your DVD. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, this video was just for educational purposes and is not meant to condone or endorse any sort of illegal behavior. A few moments later. 
Once the process is finished, just click on OK, and then it'll take you straight to the output folder where it'll have your title and your movie saved, and you can enjoy it at any time. So this process depends on the performance of your computer, but it's a great process to get you started. Now, my qualms with the software is that my computer is a little bit older. It has Windows 10. That's pretty much not quite a dinosaur, but my specs otherwise state the obvious. But if you have a really good computer and you still have an optical drive with it, or you just have the ISO files, this is perfect for you. So have a great day, and we'll see you next time for another original video. Goodbye for now. And if you like this video, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more great content.